Hi, my name's Will. Welcome to Peace, Love, and Guns. Today, we have a very special treat for you. We are going to shoot the PKM. It's a civilian PKM, so it's semi-automatic. But I've got a 200 round belt here in this ammo can of 7.62x54R. So let's just take a look at that beautiful bean footage right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Push that out. Push this up. Thank you, gun crew. They can come down. Hmm? They can come down. That's French shell casing. Get that out of there. If you lean up against it, you can lean the uh, the front foot up against the. We don't want our leg there. <laughs> I want my pad back. Hurt me. Uh, uh, yeah, when I'm out, you can see I've got a little bit of a uh, red spot. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it comes out of there with authority. It comes out there fast, bro. It hurt my knuckle. Like, what the? <laughs> f uh oh. They're walking front. Pull straight back and we go. Okay, pull it all the way back. We have a malfunction, kids. <coughs> Alright, open it up. So I was gonna knee. Alright, clear, clear first. So, open, open, the feed, open the feed tray. And get a good look at okay. it. You know what, I might have been getting caught up on the, uh... Oh, yes. That's very possible. You ready? That's fun. He needs a sandbag up. Had a click. <laughs> We 
got us seized. Something in there. All right. Let's do a barrel change, yeah? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Woo! This is pretty easy. This is very easy. Do a barrel change. So don't push this forward. There you go. You're gonna snap that into place. It'll go in, you'll see it seat flat. You got it? There you are. Alright, so you wanna clear it, make sure there's nothing else in there right now. Alright, you want that feed ramp down? That actually gets clipped all the way in the back of that little claw right there. There you go. And now you just slam that down on it. Back and let go. Show them what for. All right. Gonna hip fire. You don't have a ton here, so. Are you on safe? Oh, it's on fire. Did you cock it? Yes. All right. It's broke. Damn it, William. Alright. Huh. Cock it, dry fire it. Got safety. There we go. It's really not that bad doing it by hand. No. It's a little quicker with the other thing when it's working right. When it's working right. Get in there. Maybe with a little bit of wear, like, you know, that might be mill syrup too where it maybe wasn't used at all. Yeah. So a little bit of wearing in, kind of polishing the surfaces just by using it. All right, slam that baby down. All right, now all the way back and let it go. Pull Keep it. going back harder. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, I don't have a hair trigger on it. Oh. <laughs> See why your fingers are getting uh, tired. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. You see this part right here? Mm -hmm. You're gonna push that forward and lift up on the back of the gun. All right, now you're gonna push forward and down. Not with the barrel. Grab this. <laughs> that was about to be a, a toasty treat. Yep. All right. I got your, I got this part of your chain. Woo! Come on down. Let's do things the safe way. All right. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper. Hmm. There you go. Hold it a little tighter, right? Hold it a little tighter. All right. Hmm. Quit limp <laughs> All right. All right, on. ready? Yep. It's not liking that. All right, put it up on your shoulder. Oh. Get up by the barrel. Oh. 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 Can you charge it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, I'm tired. Who wants to shoot the rest of this? I'll do it. Uh, oh, hold on. I can do it like this, guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Get it, boy. Uh -oh. All set. All fire. Uh, all right. Don't shoot my thing, please. Shoot the back of the tail light? Yeah, please don't. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, this thing gets you <laughs> tired, bro. I'm <laughs> tired. My finger's tired, man. My little uh, fingy. My little fingy. Finger no one tonight. Can I get some chicken nuggies, mommy? <laughs> I'm William of Gray Fox Gunsmithing, and I'm out here with Peace Loving Guns, about to shoot this here PKM for the first time. So it's a West Light Arms PKM. Clearly, it was made with the kit back, uh, I, I want to say, almost 15 years ago or so. And it's currently set up on a PKM tripod in the anti-air setup. So we're going to go ahead and take that into the relevant setup for the day. It's a little tight. Get it off the crotch. Why don't you pose with that for us? Yeah, I definitely want to shoot it like that. I know, yes. right? Oh, yes. Well, the only issue is... It doesn't really have like a grip, <laughs> so I think you have to basically do this, which is a lot easier to do if you're right-handed, because this thing is just canted the wrong way. But so, talking parts. <clears throat> Set this here back in its normal configurations. Okay, yeah, yeah. here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little button in there. So anybody who ever buys one of these. <laughs> There's a button in here that locks in your your anti-air lever. Not that you're ever going to use an anti-air lever unless you're at like a wedding celebration. There we are. Just kind of finesse it in there. And then we just got to pull this little lever this way and ah, she locked in. That is a handsome package right there. It's usually meant to be done with the whole team. So this is a crew served weapon, so there's usually a two person team working on it the gunner and the person handling the ammo. So, this is a PKM, uh, it's made with a Russian parts kit, <coughs> from what I understand. This is obviously, well, it's not so obviously, I guess, but I don't have a class 3 license yet, so it's just a uh, just a good old fashioned, fully semi automatic rifle. I don't think Biden will like that, so, but well, <sighs> good thing it's not an AR-14. <laughs> right. So uh, it is a belt-fed gun. It uses non-disintegrating belt links, which look a lot like this. This is what they look like empty, and then. Oh, I thought it had a, a fabric no, set of links. It's metal. Do they so, have fabric versions? I am not that well versed in it, so maybe. I thought they maybe. Who knows? So, Who knows? That's pretty cool. Uh, this ammo box here is not loaded, but uh, these are made to clip on either the bottom of the gun, which is pretty easy to do, or it's got this little slot here where it just nestles down. And it has a little spring catch. You feed it out of here, you open your ammo box, Feed it through this hole right here, and, it, and uh, this ow. You pinch yourself with it, and your ammo just feeds out of there. Once you got your ammo feed it, feeding, you just stick it right there on that little doodad right there. So, uh, so cool. 762 by 54R, baby. Yep. Trigger is meant to be a full auto trigger, so it's kind of heavy. So uh, now I do believe it's gas operated. Uh, it's a piston gun. Yeah. 
Definitely a piston gun. Yeah, so it's a, it's a gas-operated piston-driven gun. So it's interesting because if you actually take it, and I've seen this played out a few times actually, if you take it and turn it this way, it almost looks like an AK that somebody flipped the grip upside down on. It does so kind of look like that, yeah. So you can see the, the gas systems here and normally on an AK. So it's interesting how that runs. So it's, it's essentially like a crazy full auto AK. So this pair is a big old big bad. It does indeed. It's pretty easy to load. You just grab that there. Here's your feet tray right here. So got this little, this is the actual, uh, Clips on just like that. Close that baby just like that. These come with a bipod attached to them. The tripods, uh, you know, sometimes you can buy them with them. Sometimes you buy them without. This one it comes with an extra, came with an extra barrel. And we'll put this into use here in a little bit. But as you can see here, we have a reloading kit. It's for the belt reloader, which we will get to use here in a minute. Very um, AK-like sights. So you got your your leaf sight with a standard AK front. So it does have this fancy little shoulder rest where you can use it to keep yourself on target without having to use too much actual lifting power. So pull it in your shoulder real good. This will be the first shots with this thing. This thing, as far as I'm aware, has never been shot. The previous owner who sold it to me, who is also the same guy who also... Our generous donor. Yes. Um, said it has never been shot. So Thank you for your contributions to these living guns, even though you don't know me. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to load it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't remember if this is safe or fire. That's safe, and that's fire. That's fire. You got so. it. Alrighty. Ears? 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 Okay, ears. Weapons clear. Those cases come flying out of there. It was hitting me. <laughs> I know, I see it. But it looks so scary. Cool, it's a full auto, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty cool. Stand by. America! Alright. <laughs> that barrel went down. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. But. <laughs> That's a tough trigger, huh? It is a tough trigger. If it Any way you can smooth breeze, it up? Uh, yeah, probably. Gunsmith that baby. Just Look at how hot that is getting. So that actually brings us to our next point, which I guess I wanted me to show you. We're going to open this baby up. You can probably leave the rounds in, but we're not going to. I'm not sure of the exact details of all that. Flip this bad boy up. Eject this round. The ground is probably nice and toasty. 7.62 by 54R. And yeah, it is, uh, the tip of it is warm. So, so this isn't an open bolt gun. No, this one is not. It normally is. Let's see is. if we can get it to cook off. <laughs> so this normally is an open bolt gun, but this, because it's a civilian model, essentially. The only thing that they've changed is this particular bolt. Because normally the bolt latches, you can see how this latches back here. Normally the actual bolt is latched back here. And when you pull the trigger, it flies forward. Yes, maximum. exactly. Yeah, when you did so. that, there was a puff of smoke that came out. It puffed the magic dragon. So the way to change the barrel on this thing, so this is actually the, uh, while being the carry handle, is also the, the barrel helper. So you push this little doodad over, that releases the actual barrel, then you 
push without letting it touch so hand me the other broom this is a crew serve weapon so normally there's two persons working on it there's a lot of big pieces do you want it set here or do you want to sit on on the thing please on the thing oh really you think yeah. it's not gonna it's, melt it yeah it'll be fine it's leather <clears throat> and then when you just take this and slide it right on <clears throat> and then once it's once it's level up you can take your little slidey doodad <clears throat> there we are lock it in and we're locked in again have a bunch of reload ammo with your doodad find the end of the link there we are ah. click down Oh, yeah. America. 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 Yeah. Russia, technically, but hey. 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 Hey, do the Russian civilians get to use this? No idea, probably. <laughs> probably not. So, America. America. We got 200 more rounds to go. And I'm willing to shoot it all today, baby. All right, baby. Here you go. Um, so can you load these in one by one by hand? Yeah, you it's can, but it hard? takes a lot of pressure. Gotcha. So you got it. <clears throat> that would be unfortunate to have to do that a and bunch. One more. <clears throat> Come back here. You just take it. A little bit of. I know, right? <laughs> My little fingy. Woo, doggy. Bro. Um, I would say you got that barrel a little toasty. You can see it went from shiny to uh, it's Dark. like oxidizing now. Yep. Cause that's a hot mother right there. And they are meant to get I hot I would get as that budge. bullet out of there. There's no bullet. Oh, there's not. Oh, that was it. Okay. Okay. That was it, baby. What I am going to do is leave it open. Yep. So she cools down. This guy is still warm right here. I bet she is. Um, it's uh, awful oh melted onto God. that take there. It off, take it off. Take it yeah, off. Take it off that. Oh. That is not leather. Or no, it's the painting job on it. It'll melt off. It's fine. No, it's pleather. There's pleather. foam underneath that. All right. Well, let's. Um, <laughs> so we got this. Here is our loader. Now I haven't used this because, like I said, I haven't shot the gun until now. But uh, this baby slides down just like a bat. That way. It clips in like so. We take the clamp out since we've actually got it on the box. I don't know why you'd buy an expensive gun like this and shoot steel through it. I don't get it. Oh, it loads from. Okay, so. Gotcha. So, does it automatically straighten them out? It supposed to. It doesn't. It's supposed to. It straightens them from left to right? Yeah. Supposed really? To. There's honestly not a ton of information about all this. Oh no! <laughs> uh, we will figure this out, damn you! There we are. Hey, okay. Boom. I know, that's what's <laughs> fires. Need more burrits. The 
it's nice when it goes like that. Yeah, I know, right? Why don't we just take a little bit slower there, guy? It was going so well. some beef to it. Dude. It's heavy. I mean, it's destructive as hell. Actually, we put like what? 400 rounds. Just shot a 400 Did in it? Did we really? Mm hmm. <laughs> he shot 200, and then I me and you just shot 100 each. Well, oh, 150 and 50 each. <laughs> Last bullet. Do a closeout for us. Ha <laughs> ha. It's hot, mommy, and it hurts. <laughs> Is that good? Will it fold backwards as well? Yeah. Fold it backwards and use it as a yeah, hand holdy. So, uh, outro us. Give me that little ammo box. Right? That way Girl, we get to see it with so the ammo hot. box on. Yes, please. Oh! That is <laughs> sick! See what I mean? Oh, shit! <clears throat> now that's sick. You need a black one. That'll be sick. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> shit. That's cool. This is William with Peace Loving Guns. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. There's a little likey and commenty and stuff box down there at the bottom and over there. And uh, hope you have a good day. Let's go shoot some other stuff. <laughs>